communication and the church go hand in hand. First and foremost, there is the Bible, which is the most sold publication in history. And in 1931, the church took it a step further with Vatican Radio. It was launched by Pope Pius XI to transmit the Pope's words to the world. It's aired now in more than 40 languages in 61 countries. Then came the television set. John Paul II launched the Vatican's television service in 1983 so viewers could actually see what the Pope was up to from the comfort of their own homes. On December 12, 2012 came another breakthrough when Benedict XVI joined Twitter. Sending his first tweet took just a few seconds, but Ad Pontifex is now embedded in the Vatican's modern history book. One year later, now it's Pope Francis who leads that Twitter account, which has about 11 million followers. But that's nothing compared to the roughly 60 million people who get to read the retweets. Ad Pontifex has nine different language accounts, including Arabic, French, German, Italian, Polish, Portuguese, and even Latin. The account with the most followers is in Spanish, which has about 4 million. The English account comes in second with roughly 3.3 million followers. And despite Twitter's 140-character limit, it seems that Pope Francis is doing just fine in getting his message across in the digital world.